Today I've done a little New Year's Eve acrylic set for you. So those are the bits and bobs that I'll be using today, mainly CJP and then some glitters that I found in the bottom of my drawer. Now a couple of them are actually sample ones that have been sent to me. Um, so we'll go through that as and when I use it. So first of all I'm coming in with black diamonds from CJP on the tip and I'm feathering that back. And then I'm coming in with this glitter mix from Shona's Boys made me this and it's called Cosmic. They did me glitter mixes back in the end of summer, I believe, and they sent me some little pots to try. And um, I saw this and I thought, yes, I wanted a black set because it's New Year's Eve, but I wanted it to be colourful. And I think I got that, but we will wait and see what you think at the end. So, you all know that I get glitters from AliExpress, and one of the big companies that I actually get it from there is called The Colour World. And in one of the orders, they sent me these beautiful holographic coloured stars. They're brilliant. Um, only a little sample, but I thought, ace. So, I've used those. So, that's what you've seen me come in over the top. And then I've got some holographic, like, rose gold strobe stars. So they're the four-pointed stars. So I'll put a couple of those in as well. I've left that to set and I'll move on to the ring finger. This is just Black Magic, which is a plain black from CJP. We will be coming in and doing some hand painting on this later. So I'm just going to do a full nail of that, leave that, and then move on. Now we're coming in on the middle finger with peach sorbet and this is going to be a ombre but I am going to put that cosmic glitter across it so I'm not too bothered about that blend but I do obviously want to get the shading in there so I need that to be opaque so I'll come in with a second bead and just lay that down leave that to set and do exactly the same on the pointer and here I'm going to do a marble effect, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. So it is going to be an ombre. So I do come in with the peach sorbet at the bottom and fade that up towards the tip. And then again, like I said, leave that to set. Then I will go back to the middle finger and come in with black diamonds, which is the shimmery black. I'm going to fade that back, pull it up to the tip and then make sure I get the coverage that I want on that tip before coming in with that beautiful cosmic glitter. So I'm going to come in with that cosmic and then those beautiful little stars so that it'd be exactly the same as like what I did on the little finger but obviously in a trail across that nail. So I'll pat it flat, make sure there's nothing protruding. The last thing you want when you've capped this is to actually file through. Nothing more annoying. So who's got plans? this New Year's Eve. Going out, having a party, going to a party, or just go around the pub for a couple of drinks. Who's staying in like me? Oh, I don't really do New Year's Eve. I've tried it all and nothing brings me joy, so I just stay in. I know, I'm proper boring, aren't I? I've tried going around the corner to the pub and just having a few drinks, and I've tried going to a party and clubbing and 
But no, I've just come to the conclusion it's just not for me. So I'll sit and do nails, eh, for you lot instead. <laughs> right, okay, so I'm coming in with metallic silver and then a bit of that um, black magic. What I'll do is just tap, 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 tap. I'm using really, really, really wet beads. And what that will do is give it the marble look. Then I'm coming in with some of those strobe stars just a few really really small ones don't want anything in your face don't want anything to detract from that marble effect there so just a few of those little stars that's all I want then what I'll do is go and cap in clear all of these nails and then file and buff them into shape and then we can get on with the hand painting. We're going to be using artisan gel paints. So I'm going to be using my acrylic nail to actually load the brush and start with the rim of this glass that I'm going to hand paint onto this nail. So once I'm happy with any section of the hand painting, I will flash cure it with this LED torch. Then I'm going to come in with the body of the glass bring that down try and do it in one stroke and then just finish off that touch at the bottom then load my brush slightly but take it off again because i don't want it too white but i am going to do some shadowing on the glass so that's as though you know a light is hitting it then i'm going to again flash cure it in between just for 10 seconds just so that if the next bit i do i don't like then it's not going to affect anything I've already done if I need to take it off. Then I'm coming in with the stem of the glass and I'm going to pull that down with my brush. Make it a little bit longer. So I'll go in from a different angle again, load my brush up slightly. And now I'm going to come in and do the base of that glass. So come in from the side. Now I'm not happy. I'm not happy at all about this. So I come in with some um, gel cleanse on a lint-free wipe, and I'm just taking off the bits that I don't like. Then I come back in with my brush and reapply, redraw the stem of that glass with my brush. Anyway, so once I'm happy with that, I will then give that a full cure in the lamp. And then I'm going to put top coat over it and come in with this dot mix. Now what I did was look inside my glitter tray of white iridescent. I didn't want anything too bold in the wine glass, champagne glass, it is New Year's Eve. And um, so I was looking for a dot mix with iridescent. So I found this baby pad and it was like like iridescent and silver and white dots so I put a few just a few in the tray so I could pick out what I wanted the effect I was going for was if the light hits the glass it sparkles it twinkles you know it's not a bold in your face sort of glitter so anyway I will then cure that because that is going on top of top coat and I will just give that 30 seconds then what I will do is top coat there we go and that's the finished wine glass so I'll cure that and then I go in and top coat all these nails so that's only add half a cure on the ring finger that will then leave it tacky so that the next layer of top coat on top will adhere to that so I will top coat all of these nails that will have a full cure in the lamp and then guys that's the end of the video I do hope you've enjoyed this video today. If you have, please take a second and give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, I would absolutely love it if you would. As always, everything will be listed below in the description box for you. Any questions, pop them in the comment box. Happy New Year from my family to yours. Until next time, guys. Bye.